Hey everybody, welcome to Above All Journal, where it doesn't matter what is on our to-do list, we are journaling. You guys, today I have a little tutorial for you. It is some interactive ephemera. So, um, I just love interactive journaling spaces in my journals, so that's what we're going to create today. Uh, don't mind my nails. Uh, my seven-year-old painted those for me, and that's how they looked when she did them. <laughs> So I apologize, but I didn't, I was like, I didn't have the heart to take it off. So they are debuting. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to make one of these. This is like a, this is just the bones of the prototype, but we are going to be making this, um, I want to call it like, what is it? I don't know. It's like a blooming thing. But um, I was going to call it something. A pinwheel. A pinwheel f uh, thing. But I don't know. We'll see what what the... <laughs> as soon as the camera turns on, I am brain dead, you guys. <laughs> so hopefully um, you will know what this video is going to be called by the title of it. Uh, first thing we're going to do, get a piece of 6x6 six six paper. I find six by six to be a good size. You can make it larger, go big, go home. Do you? Uh, but we're gonna start with a six by six paper here. And we are going to do the crisscross applesauce fold. Um, so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna fold it this way. Crisscross applesauce, oh gosh. Isn't that a way to sit? Isn't that what we tell kids in school? Crisscross applesauce, yeah. Uh, this is more like a crisscross hamburger sauce because you're folding it hamburger style and hamburger style. What's your favorite hamburger sauce, by the way? Uh, mine is ketchup <laughs> and mustard. Anyways, so you fold it this way and this way and then corner to corner. This way, here we go. That way, bing, bang, bongo. And here we go. Yeah, the opposite. <laughs> this way. Corner to corner. I'm an awful folder, you guys. I usually uh, use a, um, what's it called? The board thing with the, I don't know. Ah, just leave me alone, okay? <laughs> Okay, so anyways, we have, now have this with the folds. Now we're going to get out your big crop crocodile, your crocodile, if you have one of these. If not, your little um, hand doodad will work just fine, but your hole punch. We're going to hole punch right here in the center, and that is just going to give us some flexibility and movement in that corner so it prevents tearing okay we don't want it to tear so here we go i'm gonna do it on the white side so i can see because the light shines perfectly and reflects right back okay here we go so that's what we have right there and then you're gonna take your uh scissors that really want to retire you gotta grab those ones and um you're gonna cut a slit Cut right on the fold line. Just pick a side. And there we have that. Okay. Now, uh, to, we're going to train the paper a little bit. So, we want to get it to do the folding thing uh, for the pinwheel. To get the pinwheel effect. Pinwheels don't come apart. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know. So uh, we're just going to gather. So we're going to take this corner here. We're going to think of this as quadrants. So we have one, two, three, and four. Kind of like math, but I think math is opposite maybe. I have no idea. I don't remember. doesn't matter. So we're going to just pinch and fold up that corner. And we're just going to give that a crease. And then we're going to do the same here. Pinch, fold up pinch, fold up, and give it a good crease, okay? Now, we have this. You can see our hole is doing exactly what it was meant to do, keeping those from tearing over here. So, 
Good thing we we did that. So now uh, we're going to create some journaling spaces. This is just the bones, like I said. And we're going to give it a pop of color because we need a pop of color in our life. Let's see here. Hmm. I'm going to close my eyes. You guys tell me when to stop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hear you. Oh, some polka dots. Okay, we're going to do polka dots. This is so funny because I use polka dots in my other interactive ephemera, and I'll show you guys that when we're done here. I'm going to cut these into three-inch squares, okay? I find this is way easier. I've been doing two and three-quarter squares, but I always misalign them. So just to make it easier on yourself, just do the three inches. Let me make sure I'm in the screen here because I'm sitting down. All right, so we're gonna line it up, cut across three inches and do the same here because this is not perfect square. It isn't, unfortunately. Okay, three inches. Okay, then we're going to do three inches this way. I'm just going to see if I can cut them together just to save time, hopefully. And we can. So there we go. We have three inch by three inch, obviously, squares. Because they're squares, they have the same measurement around. Okay. Now, with that being said, I am going to just use... Um, I'm going to use my Eileen's tacky glue and we're going to start gluing these down for the extra journaling space, okay? Now, it might be a good idea, I don't know yet. We're gonna just see if this works. So like I said, I have been, yeah, we're gonna go with that. Okay, so the goal is to get this as perfectly as we can, <laughs> if we can even achieve that. So I'm gonna put the glue just on this, every other uh, triangle. So one, one, no, two, no, three, no, all. That's the goal here. So get this eyelings going here. Get the lava flowing. Here we go. That wasn't me, that was the glue bottle. Let's not make jokes. Let's be serious crafters now. All right. And I'm an awful gluer, you guys. I'm the messiest gluer you will ever find on YouTube. I guarantee it. Unless you're watching the children's channels, then they probably have me beat, but uh, yeah. I'm the messiest gluer, gluer you're going to find. <laughs> okay, so there we have the first one. Okay, and remember we're only doing one of the triangles, not both. Otherwise, we have compromised our movement, and we don't want that. Make sure you didn't glue down this edge like I would, okay? You do it better than I do. Now I'm going to do the same thing here, so no, yes, okay? Like I said, every other one. Come on, Eileen. I don't know if it's Eileen, Aileen, I'm, I apologize to whomever, whomever this is. I love your glue, great work. <laughs> I'm gonna lay it horizontally so we continue to have flow. All right, and then this is just going to go directly on, get it as close as possible, and there we go. We have the next one on, okay? Next, so no, yes. Here we go. Across the diagonal and then the two angles. That's how we make a triangle. Okay. You guys are going to question your sanity as well as mine. You're going to be like, why am I watching this lady? And why hasn't anybody gotten her any help? We Nobody knows. Nobody knows. 
but we're having fun right we're having fun okay there we go I think I think I think some of you may not believe that I will okay so there we go we've got that and what we've really got is an unglued corner over here that's what we've really truly got I apologize for the lighting today you guys it is literally snowing snowing so yeah that's fun for us okay here we go I'm gonna do another one this one is the whole thing so quadrant four gets it all they're getting the whole caboodle. They deserve it. Because they're going to hold it all together. Okay, so this last piece here is going to go in here. Like this. As close as we can. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm going to trim up the edges when we're done. Because, you know, things. Okay. So, I'm going to let this dry for a second, and then I will show you how, how it works, if it does work. So, I don't like to fold wet paper, it's irritating. So, I'll show you another way you can make this. So, this is just 3x3 um, three three squares with 2 and 3 quarter by 2 and 3 quarter. And another way you can make one of these without folding is to simply just put all these together like this okay and then use your crocodile or you can use whatever you have at home and I'm just gonna put this right in the corner hole punch right in the corner and then I have a tiny Tim Holtz Brad here just a little silver silver guy <laughs> and I'm just going to put that right into the hoe, maybe. I'm a professional. Just kidding. Professional what? That's the question. Okay, and then you can glue that down, and then you can have some other fanning, uh, some fanning ephemera, okay? So that's that. And then I like to just give this a squash because I like it tight. Yeah. I don't want it flopping around. Yeah, that feels much better. <laughs> yes. Perfect. And then you can glue the whole thing down or you could clip this to a page and just use, you know, a paper clip to hold it on or... I would just glue it honestly or you can make it like a fun pocket um, you can make it a fun pocket and just put some glue on the corners and then you can tuck things in and then have it also fan I don't know it could be really cool all right so there we go um, obviously this can be a little too much this color you can always use gesso if you don't like your um, if you don't like the uh, scrapbook paper you have, you can alter it to make it work. So now we're going to regather this, and then uh, I see I kind of overglued on my seam there a little bit, but hopefully it doesn't matter. So we're going to gather these up again. Gather one, fold back, gather two, fold back, gather the last one, and there you have it, folks. That is it. And then I'm going to give this a quick trim here because I am over and that's going to drive me crazy. But there we have it. So obviously you are going to fold down quadrant four. Okay. So the one that doesn't flap up quadrant four gets glued down and then that's going to come out and around when you're journaling and you can write or put pictures or collage or put some keepsakes 
on to your little pinwheel pinwheeling doodad. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this little video and um, I would just like to thank everybody who has joined me um, on Instagram, on Lemonate, and also on YouTube. Obviously, that's that's my main home. Um, thank you all for subscribing, liking, sharing, and doing your thing. <laughs> I get so giddy and excited whenever I see you guys interacting with my stuff. So thank you so much. And um, thank you for joining me for today's video. I hope you all go out and create something you love and uh, find something you enjoy doing today. Give yourself some self-care and self-love. And um, yeah, have fun doing so. <laughs> but anyways, I will see you all in my next video. Hopefully Thursday maybe Wednesday. We'll see. It's been so crazy, but um, I'll see you guys soon. Love you. Bye.